November 1989, the 7.46am comic train left Holland Waverley Station for its first commuter stop, Sindel. Behind the 7.46 train was the 7.49am Hitachi train to the city as well. The 7.46 train which had left Glen Waverley Station was delayed at Sindel Station due to the door falls in the last three carriages and was stationary. The 7.49 train passed a red signal but the driver didn't notice and it rammed against the rear of the 7.46 train at a speed of roughly 40 kilometers an hour. The driver of the second train slammed on the emergency brakes but it was too late. The collision happened at 7.53 a.m. 75 people were injured in the collision, but thankfully there were no fatalities. The front car of the 7.49 Hitachi train was towed away and scrapped. The other cars were lightly damaged and repaired. The front car of the Hitachi train was bent. This is National My News with Peter Hitchener. Human error blamed for the PCAR crash on the Glen Waverley line. John Good evening. At least 37 people were injured when two commuter trains collided at Sindel Station. Dazed passengers stumbled from the trains, miraculously with only cuts and bruises. A full inquiry has been launched into the accident, but Premier John Kane says early investigations suggest human error was to blame. Gavin McDougall reports on our worst suburban train crash in years. Today's accident came at the start of the morning peak. The 746 from Glen Waverley was stationary at Sindel when the other train, also bound for Flinders Street from Glen Waverley, ploughed into it from behind. Frightened passengers on both trains were thrown about by the impact as one of the carriages buckled beneath them. Nine ambulances rushed to tend the injured, more than a dozen of them schoolchildren. 24 people were taken to Box Hill and Dandenong Hospitals and the Monash Medical Centre, while in the confusion, dazed passengers... Many of the injured were able to be transported by an ambulance bus and were released from hospital soon after being treated. Ambulance officers and police are stunned at how nobody was more seriously injured in what had the potential to be a major disaster. I think uh, this is a very, 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 very lucky one. Very, very lucky one to go with 20 patients and uh, all minor injuries. The driver of the second train who rode out the crash also miraculously escaped serious injury. All emergency brakes had been applied to avoid a collision and in the search for a cause, Met investigators have already ruled out signal failure. The signals uh, have been checked out and found to be working correctly and the, uh, the driver of the, uh, of the second train uh, certainly uh, had been alerted by the signalling system that there was a, a train ahead of him. The train in fact stopped at that signal 640 metres from the platform, moved through the signal and stopped again. Then in what the Met calls its routine stop and proceed rule, the train again moved towards Sindel, but this time it failed to stop. The stationary train had been delayed at the platform because of a fault with its doors. Services on the Glen Waverley line should be back to normal tomorrow. Ironically, today's crash happened as a draft report was released on a similar incident at Ringwood last month. Driver error has been blamed for that crash in which nine people were injured.